Fort Knox has been a U.S. military reservation since 1918, but American soldiers have occupied this area since as early as the Civil War. To that point, and for a long time to come, the cannon has been the most formidable weapon invented because of its destructive capabilities. But during World War I, new strategies and armaments marked a turning point in warfare. In 1918, in the midst of a vast buildup in France, the American Expeditionary Force established a tank corps to support it against the Germans. One of the first American armored forces to see combat was led by a young cavalry captain named George S. Patton. Captain Patton was the first American soldier to distinguish himself during World War I and one of three officers who spearheaded the armor training of the armor forces of the United States after World War I. By 1940, the United States Army Armor Center was officially placed on active status because Europe was being overrun by Nazism. The Armored Training Center was based at Fort Knox and the title was changed numerous times in the first three years until it was designated the Armor Replacement Training Center in 1943. The training center grew considerably in size and function during World War II. After the war, the training center was put on inactive status until the 3rd Armored Division was ordered to be combat ready. Since its inception in 1940, the training center has distinguished itself in the capabilities and competence of the performance of its duties. When recruits arrive at the Fort Knox Reception Battalion, they are whisked through their whirlwind reorientation from civilian to soldier. Aptitude testing, a classification interview, an orientation meeting, and the creation of a permanent file are but a few segments of their brief stay at the reception station. This is the beginning of a soldier. The soldier is thoroughly immunized to ensure his complete health. A complete physical examination is given to each soldier. A new haircut is one of the major transitions for the new soldier. With a buzz and a swipe, the soldier is given a new haircut for a new life. A dental examination is also given to ensure the new soldier's best health.
The new recruit is issued the initial payment to buy all his personal necessities, such as toothpaste and shaving cream. The new recruit has issued all the clothing and equipment he will use during training. A medical evaluation would not be complete without an eye exam. Though brief, the soldier stay at the reception station is full of activity. Three short days to in process all the new soldiers into their new life. Three days to identify and classify each new recruit. How do they do it? Then it's off to their new life. Baby 
step private, you. And then everyone else. You just messed everyone else up. Place your palm, right? Look. Hey, 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 No more no more. March. Nip. 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 Look at you there. Look to the right. Come on, gentlemen. Step off. Right, we looking to your right and take a short, choppy step to the front or back to get even with the man to your right. Come on. When you're doing it. I'm going to be saying step, heel, step, heel. When I say heel, your heels should be touching on their hip and turn their head nice to the right. Ready. Hey, I think I'll control it. Act full syllable. Dress right. Step, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel, step, heel.
that, it will drop back to that other line. But the number below that line applies to that line. Do you understand that? Yes, Sergeant.
A challenge was given to an unsure, timid young man. The challenge that is the United States Army. He met the challenge and stepped into the history of the competent professional, dedicated to the preservation of the spirit and freedom of duty that has been the framework of the American soldier. It has been this spirit that has made the United States a country of respect, honor, and pride. We owe a lot to this heritage and the undaunted courage that forged this great nation. Through this history of service and duty, our country has been given the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.